Hello there, welcome to part two in my Barry Harris playlist where I'm giving you a couple of exercises to help reinforce the related chords and to reinforce the shape of the scale. Of course, it's the flat six scale. So you take the major scale of flat and the sixth and that has related chords. So, um, uh, well, here we go basically, as always, likes, comments, subscriptions are always welcome. Have a look at my video management website and my Waterfinism syllabus. All the links are below, uh, part one as well, and a card. So, uh, I'll demonstrate in the key of C so we're all on the same page. And uh, I'll show you this very nice exercise with a bit of a sort of addition at the end for you. Uh, so maybe, maybe I've got timestamps, but there'll only be like two of them. So the idea is, you know what the chords are. Of course, watch part one, so I don't have to repeat myself. But you've got your sixth chord in the root position of the key you're in. We're learning in templates here, so you can apply it to all 12 keys. So take the key of C, and I'll go into another key later. And then based on the second, we're going to play its whole diminished group, and that gives us the other notes. So that's what gives you the major scale plus the flat six. So that flat six is literally the key to a beautiful symmetry. So what is this exercise? It's to help you drill the positions of the shapes and to get your fingers very comfortable with those new shapes. And it simply goes like this, nothing too overwhelming. It would be nice if you can add your own rhythm to it as well, like I will do. So try and get that in if you can, but get the shapes down first if you need to maybe a metronome, a bit of a backing track or something, just, you know, it would be nice. So you take your sixth chord, don't need a pedal for this. You get the first position. And since you know that the whole diminished is on the second, you're just going to move between those two positions first, and you're going to build up note by note. So close your eyes, it's always a nice idea, just to let your fingers find their natural positions. And now let's just see what kind of rhythm and timing and tempo come out, but I'm only going to alternate between those two chords. I might roll the chords sometimes. You might, you know, you might jump up, do it over two octaves, personalise as always. I'll just stay here. So I'm just getting used to moving between the first two. Understanding why I'm playing these two chords. C6, because it's the sixth, and it's three inversions, which we're going to do later. And then it's the, the second, and I hold diminished based on the second, and then it's three inversions, which will obviously cross over later. So just get used to playing one or two and then try it when you're ready with that comp completely and you can do it with your eyes closed with a bit of rhythm maybe slide a little note in there sounds quite nice very comfortable my fingers know exactly where to go my eyes are closed now the third one is going to be the inversion of the c6 so it's it's not an e chord because we're in the key of c it's c6 inverted three times plus root position so again find find those notes get comfortable. I also recommend doing this in the five most common keys to get you started. Uh, C, F, G, E flat and B flat. These are the most sort of common keys for jazz. It doesn't mean that that's always what you're going to play when the chords go because you your chord might go through the key of A so you'd have to know it in the key of A as well. But the point is that you're not, I don't want you to be a circus animal. I want you to be, um, a, I want you to develop the skill to be able to do this so that you can do it in any key when you need to over you know half an hour drill it in a new key you don't have to memorize all 12 positions times four inversions well root position plus i mean it just becomes silly numbers so got the first two now now just go to the third one find the third position which is the first inversion and alternate from there and the second note just so you can get the two and three together bit of rhythm slide a note So only move on until you've got that shape, and when you feel you have, try and put all three together. And for, uh, for the time being, keep them in order. We'll do jumping around later. So your fingers are just going to become more and more familiar, and of course you can kind of open the chord if you want. Just kind of like roll up dramatically because it just really confirms that your fingers are in the same place. You see, it's nice. Next one's going to be the diminished, because it's part of the diminished group of D, which is F, A, flat, and B. So, we're going to get F, hold diminished here. So get used to playing that one and the previous one. So, okay, I've got that kind of in my fingers. I can alternate between them quite comfortably. Eyes are shut. They use the shapes. Let's see if we can go all the way back down. So C, D, E, well, 
I say E, I'm saying the, the bass note here, not the name of the key of the chord, of course. So the, the C1, the D1, the E1, and now the F1 we've just done. So let's see if we can put those quite fluently. That's quite nice. Then we're going to go to the uh, G1, still C6 inverted, uh, second inversion. That's a bit of a weird one here. For me, it's my natural fingering. I think it's little finger, ring finger in the left hand. So I need to go from there to there to the F1. So the only the weird thing I can feel here is that I don't. It just feels a bit uh, odd for me. Just I've just discovered now. I, my fingers. I have to kind of consciously. Um, how can I say this? Like uh, move my. I don't know why it is, but my index finger wants to play the B. So I'm forcing this index to play the C. That should be E, of course. To play the C. So let me just see if I can do that until it becomes natural. And I don't need to think about that happening. I think that's quite nice. The G and the A fall naturally. The right hand's fine. I think that's kind of there. So let's go from maybe the beginning, just to dr keep drilling them. We're going to go to the A flat one, which is going to be a whole diminished because it's part of the, the whole diminished group based on the second. So that, that's going to be here. So that's coming from this one. So let's see if we can get those two together. So the weird sort of fingering position here for me. Oh yeah, that's very strange for me because the index, poor index finger, has to move quite a lot for this one. For me, it has to go here, and then it's like has to. I have to like move my middle finger out the way and bring that one down here. Just that's just a natural fingering issue that I have. You may not have it. I'm just identifying what they are. I think that's kind of there. But understand why I'm playing it. I'm playing the second inversion of C6. It's not a D chord. A flat, hold finished. Eyes closed. Okay, it's kind of there. Now the sixth one is quite easy because it's just the minor, it looks like the minor seven of the key of what the sixth is, but don't let that, that can be a trick to, to remember it quickly. Just, you know, the sixth minor seven, but it's not, it's still C6 inverted on the, f on the, on the third note, meaning from the root. So it's the, you know, it's the third inversion. You don't call the root position an inversion, even though it kind of is, because it's just another position. Um, so I'll just drill that again from the A flat whole diminished to, to the A minor seven, it's quite easy problem there. Let me just go down to that weird one. Yeah, see it's in my fingers now. I can I, I can feel that my, my finger is naturally bringing itself to that C on the way down. What about from the uh, F? I think that's kind of there now. Now the next one is going to be B whole diminished because it's part of the D diminished group based on the second. Very easy. So B whole diminished from the A minus 7 shape but it's still C6 inverted. So my right hand, my little finger is playing the, the uh, G, but then my ring finger always plays black notes. 99.9% .9 my ring finger plays black notes, and that just happened naturally. And my left hand, I think it's, it's using all the fingers, but the ring finger on both chords. Yes. So there we go. Play the right, no play the right chord. C6. So now we want to go up and down really fluently, having drilled those positions in. I mean, how long has this taken? A couple of minutes? Well, I don't know, it's just eight minutes or something, seven, whatever. Um, so let's just try it again. Another weird one. Okay, okay. Minus seven, shape. Uh, so that's it. So I think that's kind of, you know, 95, 97% in my fingers and again like i said you can you can sort of play them in these kind of inversions uh, see, see that one's still a problem my, my ring finger one is play there do that again here okay Hold finished. that one's okay so all the shapes are okay i think good 
Now, the thing that you can do, there's, two, there's another exercise I wanted to give you, but just another thing I wanted to say on this is to get used to really drill that shape in, in, in a key, move it around. Don't play it in the, well, I say chromatically, don't play it up and down numerically, one to seven and back to one again. Try and move around to see if you can jump to those chords. It'd be nice if you had a backing track, you don't need to rush. It's just about the ability to be able to do it. So let's just start with C6. I'll just do it randomly, so kind of like a one. Let's go up to the F, and I know it's a hold of finish. A is the minor 7 shape, but it's still C6 inverted. And E1, C6. Another weird one. So you want to get used to doing that. That's a nice thing to play around with. Let's move to a new key, and I'll give you the other exercise. So let's just... Uh, get used to playing this in the key of F. Like I like moving up in six. That's why I'm doing it in the key of F. I haven't prepared anything. Um, key of F. Uh, we know that G is the second, so we're going to play the whole diminished on uh, uh, G and it, its group. B flat, D flat, and E. So let's do the F to G. I'll do it much more quickly without talking so much. It's okay. Now we go to the third one, which is the Inversion, first inversion, get used to that. Let's put them together. Now we've got to the B flat, hold diminished. Move around a bit. See, it just comes quite fluently. Now we got to the C, which is going to be uh, an inversion. Same kind of, I might, I don't know if I had the same, I didn't feel the same issue I had with that C one, which is exactly the same position, it's quite bizarre. Let's see the golf again. Now we're on the D uh, flat, hold diminished, the flat six. Let's alternate between those. like the D minor 7. And then we'll to the E, which is uh, going to be the diminished. And up to the F6 again. Okay, and then of course you can move them around. Now the, e the second exercise I wanted to give you, so one of the timestamps, is to just play the chord that you're playing so you never lose the, m the scale that you're actually playing in, the key. Flat six, of course, major scale with a flat six. But you're gonna just, just to help you get some more positions, instead of playing eight positions, you're gonna play 16 positions because you're gonna go down a semitone and play whatever chord you're playing, whether it's one of the sixth ones, inverted or not, or one of the whole diminished ones. Can't really say that they're, di they're inverted because they all kind of use the same notes and they all, I don't know, diminished, whatever, you know, you know, you know what I mean. You're gonna go down a semitone. So the F6 the F one, we'll say in the key of F, I guess. You're gonna go F6, so you're gonna go down a semitone to E6. So you're gonna get even more movement. And, and indirectly, without focusing on the key or the sequence in another key, you're kind of learning the pattern a semitone below. So you're kind of learning it in E as well, but without actually doing it in the key of E flat, in the key of E. So that's quite interesting. I like that kind of idea. And it kind of sounds jazzy as well. Then you got to G, which is whole diminished, still part because we're actually following the, you know, the, fl the flat six diminished scale. But we're just going to go down the semitone, which happens to be G flat. But again, that's just a semitone drop. It's not because we're leaving the master key that we're in, which is F. So, six. Quite nice. And then you're going to go to the G hold diminished, as per the scale. But the semitone drops to G flat. It's a kind of decoration. Then you go to the D one. So I need to work out the natural fingering for this. It's going to be... I have to, have to work it out myself. That's okay. So I'm going to this position. It's quite nice, you just get some fingering opportunities in other keys. B flat's going to go to A held diminished. We're going to C, 
it's going to be the inversion. So this one's going to be like that, like that, like that. So let's get the natural fingering for that. My ring finger wants to play that uh, note there. So you just need a few seconds to get used to it. This is the thing, you're not a circus animal. You're not just um, a, a supposed to be able to play it off immediately. You, you, you have the ability to find how to do it and then doing it. Oh, hang on, I, I lost it. one I play again. Right, so let me just drill it again. See, I know how to do it and I'm just going to practice it. My eyes shut. point is that when I do come to that key later, I mean I can see it's e, I can see it's E6, you know, we've got the five and the six there, I can see that. But I'm not trying to think in the key of E, I'm just doing it as a semitone drop. Which is kind of fun. And then we go to the D one, which is the oh, no no the D flat one, which is hold diminish. Down to the C diminish. Lots of chord shapes here, it's wonderful with both hands of course. D as the minor seven, so I'm gonna do D flat minor seven. And then we go to the uh, e f to the E hold diminish. Let's go to E flat diminish. Right. And to the F six again. Back to the beginning. E six, F six, E six, F six. It's just another idea. Just another sort of another game, really. So the first one, as I say, you just go through them one by one, adding one, adding one, repeating, repeating, eyes closed until you can do it fluently, until you get through the whole key. Then you can feel comfortable to move them around and the, key, the, the type of chord should come to you immediately. The positions will just be in your fingers pretty well. Do this, you know, a couple of times, it'll become very easy. Uh, and then as another exercise, like I say, just drop down a semitone. It's kind of fun. Up to the, you know, diminish and just move around like that. And the more you do that, the more familiar you'll become with the, uh, with the positions. So, um, well, there you go. Uh, that's it really. As always, likes, comments, subscriptions are always welcome. Have a look at my video management website, Water Cleaners and Syllabus. And I'll see you in uh, either part three of this playlist or another video. All the best and uh, bye for now.